Good morning, true crime friends. How you doing? It's a new case Monday. Oh, how I love a new case. Okay, today we are going to start talking about Mr. Wade Wilson, the state of Florida versus Wade Wilson. He is um, an accused, unfortunate, unaliver. But first, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Every new case that we do has its own playlist. So today we are just going to cover all the background for Mr. Wade Wilson um, because later this afternoon, opening statements. But so that you're caught up, let me explain to you Mr. Wilson's crimes. Y'all, this dude is a one-man wrecking crew. You know how like the Tasmanian devil was just like <laughs> going crazy, spinning around all over the place doing madness? That is Wade Wilson. Also, in my Googling research, I have learned that Wade Wilson is also the name of Deadpool. And I just want you to know, we not talk about Deadpool. Although maybe we are, child. It is unclear. Okay, so look. Mr. Wade Wilson takes his little self down to a bar, local water and hole. He's just like, I'm going to go get me some drinks or something. I suspect he was also enjoying some narcotics on the day that all these crimes went down. But I don't know. I don't want to accuse this unfortunate unaliver of things he didn't do. So, okay. So he goes to the bar and he meets this nice lady named Miss Melton. And he's like, hey, girl, let's go back to your place. And he's kind of cute and she's kind of cute. And so they agree to go back to his place. Okay. Now what I would do, but fine. But then he, um, what is the, what is the YouTube correct way for saying he, um, he, um, hugged her real tight around her neck with just his hand he strangled her i don't I, listen i don't we're gonna come up with a new word for that because i listen i'm not trying to get in trouble with the tubes of you but um he he strangled her until death so he unfortunately unalived miss miss melton which that's terrible and um just so you know you're not supposed to do that when you pick people up in bars you can go and you can hug them and you can do whatever you want to do you know bump uglies all you want none of my business but you should not unfortunately unalive them that's a pro tip from me to you so anyway he unfortunately unalives her and then uh, he allegedly, because you know, I don't want to run afoul of the unfortunate unalivers. He unfortunately, he's accused of unfortunately unalived her by um tightly hugging her on her neck till she couldn't breathe no more. And then um he took her phone and he took her car. Well, that is just bad manners, but maybe he needed a ride. Okay, fine. So he um uses the phone that he borrowed from the lady that he unfortunately unalived and calls up another girl tacky and so he goes i believe that was his girlfriend although i sincerely hope she has broken up with him by now so then she hey babe listen um yeah don't worry about the fact that you don't recognize this number i'm a swing by your house and so she's like okay 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 so he goes to the girlfriend's house and she's like wait Where'd you get that car from? He's like, oh, I just picked it up. And she's like, it's the middle of the night. Where you pick up a car from? And so they go, sort of go back and forth and they get into a big, big fight. And then um, he beats her up. Now, sir, you know you're having a bad day if you have A, unfortunately unalived a lady. And then um, you beat up another one while talking on a stolen cell phone while driving a stolen car. Also, just pro tip for me to you, do not... Um, talk on the phone and drive, especially if both of those items are stolen. So anyway, he beats up the girlfriend and then he leaves. So he's mad. He's in a bad mood. You know, he's had a busy night. And so he's driving down the street and he sees this other lady, Diane Ruiz, just walking down the street. She's just going to work at the Moose Lodge. First of all, there are still Moose Lodges. I, honest to goodness, from the bottom of my heart, thought that was just something that they made up for the Flintstones. But apparently there are legitimate Moose Lodges in Florida. I mean... It's Florida. They might have anything. Hey, Florida, how y'all doing? So anyway, he sees this Miss Diane Ruiz and he's like, hey, beep, beep. Hey, girl, I got this stolen car. You want to ride? It's unclear how they came in contact with each other. But um, she somehow ended up in his car and he unfortunately unalives her as well. He, I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. I do not know how he helped her slip the surly bonds of this earth. But then um, he ran her i don't know what i can say here on youtube he ran her over with the car um again and again and again now if there is good news in this which there's not a whole lot of she was already uh no longer on this mortal coil when he ran her over so compassion i don't i don't know how to describe this man's actions so he ran over her again and again and again and again that is the point that i was like wait 
I do not know what narcotic this gentleman was imbibing in, but I want to know exactly what it was so I can exactly avoid it because holy smokes, he is a one man wrecking crew. So then it's not enough that he unfortunately unalived Miss Ruiz. He scoops her up and puts her inside the stolen car. Sir, sir, crime on top of crime on top of crime. Also, very bad manners. You, you done messed up this lady's upholstery. I just, the whole situation. Then he goes to some local business and says to his friend, oh, his friend's like, hey, where'd you get that car from? He's like, oh yeah, um, I stole the car. You never gonna believe the night I had. Pour me a bit, I'll tell you about my night. Hang on for a second. So he sits down with a friend and is explaining his evening and goes into all this detail. I unfortunately unalived the lady I met at a bar. I stole her phone and stole her car, then used that to drive to my girlfriend's house. We had a fight, I beat up the girlfriend. He goes through the whole thing, tells every single thing. Okay, sir, that's called a confession and people don't really want to be involved with that. His friend was like, man, wow. So listen, I'm about to lock up. You go on and go. All right, now, shh, now. I'm not going to tell nobody. You know me and you were tight like that. Meanwhile, as soon as Mr. Uh, Wilson walks out to his room, he's like, boop, 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 boop. hello, police. Yeah. Y'all want to come and get this Mama Luke because he is out of his mind. He's gone nuts. So the friend is like, ooh, dear black Jesus, please don't let him find me. Anyway, meanwhile, the police arrest him on another charge because of course they did. I don't even know what the other charge is because this boy is always doing something and he gets locked up. Finally, the police find the stolen car, two stolen phones. Both of the women he unalived, he kept their phones. So, you know, all you got to do is like, where? Let's, let's ping this thing. Oh, so they found the unalived, the unfortunate unalived lady in there messing up all the upholstery. And then the unalived lady at her apartment and the two stolen phones. And they were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we got to get this Mama Luke and lock him up. Good, good. So he was already in jail. And they were like, oh. Oh, good news for us. We all were already have him under lock and key. So we're good to go. Let's just pull together the rest of this information and then we can go on and take him to trial or give him an offer or whatever we're going to do. Meanwhile, the king of bad decisions, Mr. Wade Wilson is like, you know what? I'm really not feeling this jail. I would like to go get some in and out burger. Um, I'm not down with this confinement. You know what? Let's do. Let's escape. So he and another dumb inmate decide to escape the jail, which they were not successful at. And immediately the other inmate was like, it was not me, it was him. It was, mm -mm, it was not. Listen, I was minding my own business. I did not want to shimmy out that window, but you see, you see how he is? He's very convincing. And so, um, oops, I'm not sure what happened to his friend who also tried to, uh, ha tried to escape with him. But after the escaped attempt, his lawyer was like, look, sir, sir, I'm going to need you to just, can you sit calmly? Have you heard of this thing called meditation? I'm going to need you to do less. I just, while you are there in the jail, can you please try real, real hard not to commit more crimes? And he was like, I don't know. No promises, but I'm going to give it a shot. And so his lawyer was like, okay, okay, sir, um, I'm a criminal defense attorney, but you're making my job real hard. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I have good manners. I was raised right, except for maybe not so much. I'm trying to figure out, does he have like organic, organic mental illness? Does somebody do something to him to make him this particular flavor of crazy? Because he's real crazy. So he promised his lawyer he was not going to escape again. But you know, Crazy is going crazy. And he was like, what else can I do to entertain myself while I'm here, over here in the jail? You know what I'm going to do? I hear there's a dude down the hall giving out tattoos for only like three packs of ramen. So he shaved his head and he got a big old swastika tattooed on the side of his head. Again, if bad choices were a person, it would be him. So he was just, the lawyer was like, what? Uh, uh, Last time I saw you, first of all, thank you for not trying to escape again. I really, really appreciate it. What, what, what's happening with your head? And he was like, yeah, I got some art. Did, did you see my new art? Isn't it cute? And the lawyer was like, okay, your honor, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. So that lawyer went away and he got a new lawyer. You should also know this gentleman has had a um, Sarah Boone number of attorneys. Miss Sarah Boone, suitcase Sarah down also in Florida, has gone through like eight attorneys. This dude has probably had just as many because the, the attorneys are like, yeah, I, tr I try what you want for me. And so he was just like, no, no, no. 
I promise to be good. I will get no more head tattoos. And they were like, okay, okay. Let your hair grow in. And then um, nobody will be able to tell. Now we know you have that big neck tattoo. We're going to petition the court and see if you could put makeup on the neck tattoo. And in the meeting, he was like, mm -hmm, that sounds like a real good idea. Thank you so much for working with me. I appreciate your kindness. And so they go through the process and they go through the courts and the courts say, yes, he can cover his neck tattoos with makeup. And he was just like, okay. Then his new lawyer comes to meet with him and he has a new face tattoo. And the lawyer is like, wait, 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 wait. Um, I, I, I thought we weren't going to get any more tattoos. And Mr. Wilson was like, right, I didn't get any more head tattoos. The, I decided that the big giant swastika on the side of my head was ill-advised. And so I decided to get a much smaller uh, swastika over here on my temple because I felt like um, it was it was better decorum. And the lawyer was like, oh, uh, okay, sir, I just, I'm going to need you to get no more tattoos. And he was like, right, um, I'm going to try real hard, but I can't promise. And the lawyer was like, okay, who's next? Who? who Who's ready to tap in on this Mama Luke? Because I'm really, really done. And so while he was sitting there over there bored in prison, he was like, what else can I do to wreck my life? <laughs> I know. Okay, okay. I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to start giving media interviews. And so he has a phone interview with somebody in the media. Oh, he used his best manners. And also on the phone, you can't see the swastikas that he has tattooed on his face and other parts of his body. And so he's real polite in the phone interview. Like, um, Miss, Miss, uh, journalist, of course, I did not do those things, ma'am. Oh, it's terrible. I can't believe anybody would think I would do these terrible things. It's so, so bad. And the media was like, okay, sir, are you sure? What about the tattoos? He was just like, um, it was an unfortunate accident that I got a big giant swastika tattoo on the side of my head and I'm very sorry and I'm going to be good from now on. And the media was like, okay, of course they re recorded the interview because you know, all jail phone calls are recorded. Cut to uh, not that long later, same dude on the phone with his dad. Yeah, dad, you know, remember that time I ran over that girl over and over and over again. Then I scooped her up and put her in the car. Sir, sir, sir. Anything you say on a jail phone call can and will be used against you in a court of law. Now, I know that the jail has those recordings to say these calls are recorded. What they don't say is for everybody to hear. Because FOIA and Sunshine Laws, Freedom of Information Act, and God bless Florida for letting us be all up in folks' business because Florida will tell all of your business. So do not go to jail in Florida. I mean, really, pro tip, don't go to jail anywhere at all for any reason. But if you happen to go to jail in Florida, mm-mm, mm-mm. Everything you say on the phone, everybody is gonna hear. And that phone calls from prison, Shay over there, phone calls from prison. Oh, she, she gonna get your, she gonna get your calls. She has made an entire YouTube channel. There's nothing but people's phone calls from prison, and she calls her channel phone calls from prison. So there's no confusion about what it is. And every time she drops a call, I'm like this. I'm like Shay, girl, hit me. Hit me with a Shay, girl. What you got? What they saying now? Because prisoners are real stupid, and they talk a real lot. And I am here for all of it. Anyway, so that lawyer is like, yeah, no, I'm out. I'm out. See, I, I understand why the swastika tattoos put off some of the lawyers. Okay, that is offensive. I understand why the escaping from jail put off some of the attorneys. The media phone calls, the confession with your daddy on a jail phone call? Sir, sir, you are the embodiment of stupid. And he was like, mm-hmm, um, I got a lot of free time, which frees me up to make more and more bad decisions. Then he decided that he was the joker. Sir, you're not funny. Anyway, so you know how the joker had like that big oversized smile? I, my thinking is that Mr. Wilson was like, my smile is not smiley enough. And so I want to be extra, extra smiley for the jury. So he had a smile tattooed so that it goes on either side of his mouth and makes his mouth look extra big, but it's like stitches or something in it. And then after that, every time he went to court, he had new tattoos. And the judge was like, hey, dumb dumb. I, 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 I mean, I mean, Mr. Wade, uh, what is happening? We said you could wear makeup. And he's like, mm-hmm, I plan to wear makeup periodically and from time to time. So it's like, oh, let us understand this. Sometimes you're going to cover the tattoos and sometimes not. And he's like, mm-hmm. And the judge was like, okay, okay. Do you, boo? I mean, that's not exactly what the judge said. But in judicial language, he just was like, do you, boo? And then um, Mr. Wade gave a final interview that really, really 
was something to behold. Now, he says he didn't do these crimes that he confessed to a whole bunch of times. He's being set up. And so the media was like, really? Really, dumb dumb. Um, who's setting you up? And he was like, okay, see, I accidentally got involved with a human trafficking ring, like one does. And then I decided to get out. And so now they are committing all these crimes and putting it on me because they're afraid I'm going to tell on them. And uh, the media was like, okay, that is creative. Um, if this gentleman would just funnel his crazy and use it for creative writing, he could be like huge in like the screenwriting business or in Hollywood or something like that. Um, Fortunately, um, his favorite hobby is unfortunately unaliving people and tattooing his face. And so he might need to learn a craft or something so that he could channel his energies in a more positive way. Because right now, it's not going that good for him. As it stands, he is in jail, all locked up. He's up for the unalive penalty, which, sir, no prisoner has ever deserved it more than you. Not one. Not one. And Florida has changed the rules now. It used to be, they would be like, okay, the jury's going to look at all the evidence. And then they had to vote 12 to zero. Like everybody had to agree that you get the unalive penalty. And then there was a famous case in Florida where the jurors couldn't agree. And then the legislation was like, yeah, nah, see what we're going to do now is we're going to see, um, if most of the people on the jury think that you should get the unalive penalty, then that's what we're going to do. So I think now it used to be 12 to zero. Now it's like eight to four. Mm, close enough. We're going to give you the ultimate punishment. This dude, I think he's going to get the ultimate punishment. But we're going to wait and see. He does have a murdery face. Now listen, there have been people before that I said had a murdery face. And some people did. I'm looking at you, Chad Daybell. Anyway, um... Also, Chad Daybell had a murdery face. Who's that? David Swift, a very murdery face. He also had stalker face. Anyway, but somebody in his trial has swinger face. People can have all different kinds of faces. Me, myself, I got big mouth face, but I know you probably figured that one out right away. So anyway, um, we're going to start covering this trial. Opening statements are today. We're going to need all the Golden Girls to help us. I'm going to need y'all to, to light a candle and lean close and, and have all the Golden Girls keep us safe because I don't know what's going to come out this boy's mouth. This one promises to be very, very interesting. In the meantime, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Bye.